Hello to all viewers out there, and greetings to any ELO fan that is currently tuned in. In light of the recent release of ELO's latest album, From Out of Nowhere, I've decided to go ahead and offer my two cents regarding an unreleased song from the Secret Messages sessions. I'm of course referring to the song Beatles Forever. The song was recorded at Weisselord Studios circa 1982 or 1983. It was planned to be on side two of Secret Messages when the album was envisioned as a double LP. However, because the band's record label was fearing the band's gradual decline in popularity could be furthered by a potentially lackluster double album sale, Secret Messages was trimmed down to a single LP. Beatles Forever, a four and a half minute tribute to the band that had spurred ELO creators Roy Wood and Jeff Lynne into creating the band in the first place, was among the eight tracks that were dropped. However, unlike its fellow outtakes, Beatles Forever is still sitting in the vaults. There's been a lot of fan speculation regarding this. It's widely believed, and possibly corroborated in a recent interview with Jeff Lynn, that the song is seen as somewhat of an embarrassment. Especially so since Jeff Lynn went on to form a close friendship with ex-Beatle George Harrison, and was given the honor of producing the new songs that the surviving Beatles debuted during the release of the anthology project from the mid-1990s. However, I really don't feel that this warrants keeping the song in the vaults. I see this the same way I see the Beatles representative's attitude regarding the release of the film Let It Be on current home video formats. They're drawing more attention to it by hiding it from the viewing public than it would get if they merely released it, and I feel that their sense of embarrassment is a little too much. No one's going to think any less of the Beatles if the film gets released. Everyone knows that the band broke up, therefore it's not going to tarnish their image any. The same can be said about the song Beatles Forever. Jeff Lynne has tossed off so many great songs in his career that releasing this particular one isn't going to hurt his image or the band's. If it's a question of how the surviving Beatles will feel about it, I doubt it would be much of an issue either. No one could have predicted where Jeff Lynne would be four years after recording this. Not to mention that if there are songs in the catalog that Jeff Lynne should feel embarrassed about, there are a couple of officially released ones that are more worthy of this particularly dubious honor. Yes, the song is lyrical cheese, but in my opinion, it's not terrible. Another thing I feel regarding this particular song is that the rest of the Secret Messages album is woefully incomplete without it. Which is why I was so disappointed when the vinyl reissue of the album that came out last year opted to not include Beatles Forever. If you were to look this song up, and it's usually floating around online somewhere, you would only need to listen to the instrumentation in the background to understand. The rhythm section in particular is very reminiscent of that of the song Mandalay. So to ELO management, to Jeff Lynn, to any other concerned parties, I think it's time to go ahead and release Beatles Forever. If you really want to be subtle about it, maybe just include it as a bonus track on a CD single, please? Ты меня зовут, хоть ты, 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 